So I recently made a video about the RPC SS300 emulator when it first launched. And now I'm excited to share that it has received a significant update. This update adds powerful graphical tweaks option that can really enhance your gaming experience. So in today's video, we will break down these key improvements and discuss what is new in this version. So without further ado, let's get started. RPCSS3, originally famous for bringing PlayStation 3 emulations to PCs, is now making its marks on Android. So, um, with the recent update, which is the Alpha version 5.1, the emulator is receiving some major upgrades that not only improve its usability and performance, but also open up new possibility for tweaking your graphics settings. While it's still in the early stages of development, these updates indicate a promising future for mobile PlayStation 3 emulation. One of the most exciting changes in the updates is the new settings menu. Previously, you had to edit the test files to adjust your emulation settings. Now everything is built right into the app. So um, you can easily change the display resolution, the default one is 720p, adjust audio settings and most importantly, apply various graphics tweaks. These options gives you more control over your gaming experience and allow you to optimize performance based on your device capabilities. Another key feature is improved GPU driver support. Yes, you can now install custom drivers for the RPCSS3 emulator. So users can now switch between the default Qualcomm driver and the custom GPU driver like Tenip, especially on the Snapdragon devices. This flexibility is designed to boost performance and enhance stability, making gameplay smoother and more enjoyable. So along with these new features, the latest Alpha version 5.1 updates also include several crash fixes and stability improvements. Although the emulator still doesn't support Bluetooth controllers fully, these updates are crucial step forward and more polished, reliable experience on the Android. So about the feedback and future outlook, the community's response to these changes has been very positive, with tech outlets like Android Authority and Notebook Check highlighting the improvements the developers are pushing frequent updates, so while there is still work to be done, we can expect even more features and eventually fully support for everything, including the Bluetooth controller support. Now let's look how we can get this emulator installed on our Android devices. Okay, so um, this is a quick setup guide for the rpcss3 emulator so um to install the emulator there will be a link under this video description so grab the link and then download the emulator so um after gotten the emulator you should see something like this so this thing is going to be your emulator so um, you grab this now after you download the emulator there is something called ps3 firmware so to download that open your browser and then head over to your url and type in ps3 firmware now here visit the original url which is the playstation.com visit this one and then here make sure you turn on desktop sites i mean this one make sure this one is turned on so make sure you turn on the stop sites so at this stage scroll down then you should see something like updates this one how to update ps3 system software this one so here choose the second one which is updates using computer which is this one so um, to download the firmware you press on it to start downloading better store if it doesn't start downloading you long press it and then you select download link select this one choose this one which is download link and then wait for it to finish download so this is how you can get the ps3 firmware now after getting the ps3 firmware go ahead and install your rpcss3 emulator which is this one so you go ahead 
and use the audio monitor. Okay, so after installation of the emulator, so after the installation of the emulator, go ahead and open it. Here it says allow RPCSS3 to send you notification. Just press on allow. Now this is it. Now press here. So you can see that um, at the top section like this, you have something like firmware, which is none, settings, and system info. So to install the PS3 firmware, press on this thing over here and then locate the folder that contains your downloaded firmware. Remember, we downloaded a PS3 firmware. So locate the folder that contains that firmware. So in this manner, mine is located inside the PS3 folder. And then here, this is the firmware. So press on it to start installing the firmware. wait for it to finish installing okay so we now have the firmware version 4.91 it's still installed so don't worry now here like this we have something like settings so with this one it's up to you you can play along because the previous versions doesn't have this this settings then system info so you can go to settings and then go to advanced settings better still if you have a snapdragon device you can download custom gpu drivers and install unfortunately i have mali device which is uh, mali g78 mp20 so my device doesn't support custom drivers but if you have a device that supports custom drivers i mean if you have a snapdragon device you can go ahead and download custom drivers and then you set it up here now for um for the games i mean to install games on this emulator i mean for your games to appear over here go to your file sessions like this go to your file manager now make sure to install the games make sure you copy your games into this directory follow this directory so if you have games you have to copy that game into device android data and then scroll down until you see rpcss3 this one select files select configs and then select games so this folder is going to contain your ps3 games so if you have a ps3 games you have to copy those games into this folder before the games will appear at this section so um i think that's all for this 